Hey everyone, Pauli here. Welcome back to the channel. Where I make how to videos from subjects like Mac tips, backend, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to add SSH private keys to the SSH agent, plus how it has changed with Mac OS Monterey and up, and how to load more than one key automatically using a config file. And also talk a little bit about how the SSH agent works. Let's get into it. So first, let me open up the finder using Spotlight. And then go to the main user directory. So we want to expose the hidden files here. To expose the hidden files, keyboard shortcut is to hit Command Shift Dot. And that should expose that. And here, go under the SSH folder. And it should expose all the uh, keys that you have in your system. So I have multiple keys here with different encryption types. Um, the most common encryption types are the uh, ID, RSA, ED25519, DSA, and ECDSA. Um, here I have a couple, um, ID, RSA, and I have a custom one. So by default, the SSH agent, so the SSH agent is a key manager for SSH. It holds your key and certificates in memory, unencrypted, and ready to use by SSH. So it would read the default ones, but it won't read the custom one unless you add it manually. So to add it, um, go open the terminal. And I'll make this a bit bigger. And if I do the command ssh-add, Dash L, which is a list command, it will tell me that the agent has no identities. It doesn't read the default one, but the manual, the custom one is the one that you need to add and it would show up here. So to add that, you say SSH dash add dash K, which is the old method. There's a new method now with Mac OS Monterey. You would target the file. So that SSH GE. It would give you a warning, say the dash K and dash A are deprecated. So use the Apple use keychain command instead. So you would see that it is loaded though. So if I do the list again, you would see that the uh, configuration or the key is being read. So let me delete that by running SSH add dash D and target the same key it would just remove that identity from the SSH uh, agent. So there it's removed. If I do another list, you would see it says it's empty. Cool. So the proper way to add it on Mac OS Monterey or Ventura is to say, um, instead of using dash K, you say Apple dash use keychain. And hit enter. You would see it ha did prompt any warning and say identity added. Cool. So now that this is added, it's now in the SSH agent being read in memory. The problem is if I restart my computer, this would get lost. I need to go back and add it again. So the proper way to do this is to actually create a config file, which would allow you to create, um, add more than one key if needed. So let me remove this first by using that dash D command and show you what I mean. So now it's empty again. I have a directory here, which I'm using for version control on Bitbucket. So in this directory, I have a um, Git repository, lo local Git repository. I'm going to open the terminal from this directory. Make this a bit bigger. If I do a git pull with no um, keys in memory, I'm going to get a permission denied. So to fix this, I'm going back here to my SSH folder. I'm going to use the touch command and create a config file. So you see there a config file got created. I'm going to run sudo v config and type in your admin password. And you're going to get a blank slate here. Hit the I key to start inserting. And I'm just going to paste my 
config here. So the config is host, bitbucket.org, add keys to agent is the important key here. Just say yes. If you're using passphrase, say yes. And here for the identity file, just target that custom key that you just created. So hit escape and then colon X exclamation mark to write down to the file. Now, if I go back here to where I have a uh, local repo initialized, if I do a git pull, it read SSH agent read the config file loaded into memory and was able to connect to Bitbucket. Cool. So if I go here and do a list, you would see that the key is loaded in memory. So that's how I do it. So if you want to add another key, you would just modify the config file. So to create a new key, if you're not familiar on how to create a new key, uh, SSH key, check out this video above um, and I'll also link it in the description below. So you use the SSH key gen command and the encryption type this time, I'm gonna use the latest one, which is ED25519. And for the output, file because it's custom i'm going to say ge id ed25519 and it's going to ask me for a passphrase so for this demo i'm not going to add a passphrase it's going to create that key uh keys for me once the public and the private so i just need to add this private key on the config file so let me edit back the config file and simply Copy this and change this to ED25519. Escape, colon, write it out. So that's how you would create multiple, that's how you would load multiple key files to the SSH engine using the config file. Cool. So hope you learned something from this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.